What it's, about um, L- theanine and coffee? Okay, so I don't ingest theanine during the day. I ingest it as part of a sleep cocktail before sleep. Some people will take L-theanine with coffee. It's now in many energy drinks because it uh, takes away some of the jitters that it's a mild sedative and it, it takes away some of the jitters that caffeine can induce. I don't drink any caffeine until 90 minutes or ideally 120 minutes after I've woken up for the following reason. Uh, during sleep, uh, you, well, during wakefulness, you, and the longer you're awake, adenosine builds up in your system. Caffeine is an adenosine antagonist functionally. I realize it's a competitive agonist for you aficionados, but it, it basically blocks the adenosine receptor functionality, so to speak. But when that caffeine wears off, you're going to get a big crash because there's going to be a surplus of adenosine. By waiting 90 minutes to two hours to ingest caffeine, 90 minutes to two hours after waking to ingest caffeine, it's a little bit of a struggle to learn how to do this, but your natural adenosine system, that the adenosine tapers down very, very low as a consequence, and you don't get that rebound in the afternoon. I drink mate, a yerba mate tea. I love it. Um, there's a great, br- I don't like the, the uh, really smoky ones. I have no business relationship to any yerba mate company, by the way. But the one I love is, by, I don't know who this person is or if it's even a person, it's Anna Park. It's a really delicious one. It comes loose leaf and um, it's very high caffeine content. So you don't need very much of it. And it also has a lot of what's called GLP-1, glucagon like uh, peptide one, which is actually being used now as an anti-diabetes and uh, obesity drug. Um, there's all sorts of great things about GLP-1, upregulates dopamine receptors, et cetera. So I'll drink mate starting about 90 minutes after I'm awake. 